Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Dragon Age Origins. Alrighty, when we left off, we were, well, we were in camp, dealing with inventory after getting done with the Brazilian Forest and all of the uh, shenanigans therein. And now I guess I'm just going to wander around camp a little bit, talking to all my companions, because it's been a bit. Maybe, maybe I could give out gifts, maybe? Get some of those out my inventory, perhaps? I was just thinking about what happened to the elves, and I, I'm reminded of a song sung to me many years ago. It was when my mother died, and this wise elven woman comforted me and told me that we shouldn't fear death or hate it. Oh. Death is just another beginning. One day... We must all shed our earthly bodies to allow our spirits to fly free. Well, I, for one, am in, am in no hurry to let my spirit fly free. It's a beautiful sentiment, I think. One that brings peace and hope to the grieving. It's what's intended, sure. Oh. Go and get some music, huh? In before DMCA. up on my face. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's supposed to be really serious and just all the camera angles are goofy. Um, as you could tell throughout that, I struggled a bit trying to remain quiet and letting the music play out. There were a lot of questionable camera angles <laughs> and even more questionable uh, actions. <laughs> the characters were taking. Um, <laughs> the music was good. I'm not knocking the music. I just think the late 80s, early 90s era music video camera angles they were pulling. A little much. A little much. Just a smidge. Just a wee little bit. Too much. 
but I appreciate it. <laughs> in a weird sort of way, I did appreciate it. So, there we go. Alright, anyway, Liliana again, out. they are. There is still beauty to be found in this world. It comforts me to know that the stars will remain untouched by the blight. Mm -hmm. That whatever happens down here, they will shine eternally. Their light undimmed. There yeah. is a story about that cluster of stars over there. Do you know it? Elindra and her soldier? Can't say I've heard it. A long time ago, there lived a fair maiden called Elindra. She had many suitors, but spurned them all for she did not love them. One mm -hmm. day, Elindra was sitting by her window in her father's castle, singing and dreaming, when her lovely voice caught the attention of a young soldier. Entranced by her song, the soldier drew near to Elindra's window. As their eyes met, he fell in love with her, and she with him. When Elindra told her father about the man she had chosen, he was furious, for Elindra was high-born, but her love nothing more than a common soldier. To keep them apart, he had Elindra imprisoned in the highest tower of his castle and sent her soldier to the wars. Alas, not a month had passed before news of the soldier's death reached Elindra. Alone in her tower, Elindra wept for her love and beseeched the guards to deliver her from this cruel world. So earnest was her plea that the gods themselves were moved. They gathered Elindra into their arms and lifted her high into the heavens, where she became a star. The gods also raised up the soul of Elindra's soldier love, and there he dwells, across the horizon from her. The band of stars between them is the river of Elindra's tears, cried for her lost love. They say that when Elindra has cried enough, she will be able to cross the river to be reunited with her soldier. The third option is very much just a Kunari way of looking at it. Uh, why do stories always end so badly? It doesn't end so badly. It ends hopefully. Elindra okay. will one day be with her love again. We don't know when, but she will. This story is one of my favorites. A tale of a love so great and so enduring that it defies death and moves the gods to action. Sometimes I ask myself, does such a love exist? Can it exist? If we lose hope and love, then we are truly lost. I never expected you to say that. It is a pleasant surprise. Why is it a surprise? <laughs> I have to say there is a certain severity to you. Finding a person behind that all is nice. Maybe you should let your softer side show more often. Sometimes following your heart, not your head, leads you to remarkable places. Well, I mean, I guess it could. Looking for a little old me? Yeah, I'd like to talk to you about something. Yes? What's on your mind? You were a traveling minstrel. Do you have tales? No, 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 no. I, I think I've asked these questions, so nothing, never mind. Uh, so gift thing. How do I do the gift thing? <laughs> Didn't necessarily want to be on that. There we go. Uh, Andrasse's Grace. Um, oh, that's how I do it. Okay. Oh, how dear of you. Thank you so much. I didn't expect that to work that well. Uh, <laughs> but then again, Liz Andraste. Uh, <laughs> anything named after Andraste uh, is usually going to work with Liliana, I think. So uh, there's that. Huh. Hmm. I don't... I don't know <laughs> what will work for some of them. Okay, I'm going to assume the bones will work with Piff. I don't think I need to, but I think they will, so... Nothing. Nothing out of that. Okay, that's fine. Uh, tribal necklace. I... Hmm. Necklace of sun-bleached teeth and bones. Uh, Dalish loves. Dalish loves. 
Maybe Zephyrin? I don't know. I want to say maybe Zephyrin. Gloves? You're giving me gloves? What for? I thought you might like them. I did not mean to sound ungrateful. It is just... Wait. These are Dalish, are they not? Mm -hmm. My mother was Dalish and had a pair very similar to these. The leather was less thick and it had more embroidery, but these are very close and quite handsome. You're welcome. Do I seem surprised? Perhaps I am. Still, I appreciate the fact that you even thought of me. No one has simply given me a gift before. Thank you. <laughs> nice. I got a skill? Wait, what? Uh, what? I'm confused now. Um... I'm so confused. I don't... I... What? <laughs> huh. Okay. Well. Alright. <laughs> At this point, I'm going to try and give out gifts if I can, because... Uh, it's probably for the best. 490 black. Um... This battlefield spirit maintains a chill even in direct sunlight, which it appears to absorb. Optimal serving is by the drop. Contact with exposed flesh is discouraged, but likely inevitable. Okay. Hmm. Fancy scroll. Uh... Morrigan is a tough one. I don't... I don't know what would work for her. Hmm. It's interesting. Say that. It's interesting. Huh. Steel bracers, huh? Exquisite carvings of warhounds on them. Hmm. Now that could be Alistair or a Sten, honestly. Huh. Well, let's talk to them for a little bit. See what uh what more I can glean. What do you need? I'd like to ask you something. Ask away. Uh, tell me about the Grey Wardens. Such as they are. I guess I've about run out of the questions. About the Grey Wardens, anyhow. Fair enough. All right. What do you need? Uh, never mind. I guess there's nothing more I can ask you. That's unfortunate. Sten. Stuck to yes. you. Yes. Uh, what were you doing in that cage? Sitting, as you observed. I mean... Do you have to be so literal? No, it's a choice, not a necessity. Just tell me. I did. Parshera. Was there anything else? I want to discuss something you mentioned. Speak, then. I guess that's I not forward. something I can move on to. Okay. I am hardly surprised. Actually, never mind. Very well. Alrighty. As you wish. Well, that... Went in directions that I didn't expect. Or probably should have. Shale! Uh, You're still with me, I see. I am, as I've said. For now. Does it wish me to leave? I can, though I see no reason to go. Don't go. I happen to need you. Refreshing. Normally, such words would be accompanied by the wave of a control rod. I shall remain... As it asks. Perhaps we should continue. Its chances of success are small enough without further dawdling. 
Fair enough. Well, this is not going the way I expected. <laughs> what do you wish of me? Uh, like to discuss something personal? We are in camp, so tis as good a time as any. Why are you still here? I am here because Flemeth commanded me to aid you. Why? Do you wish me to leave? I can do so if you prefer. Do you want to leave? If I wanted to leave, then I would go. I remain, so do not ask such pointless questions. Oof. I, um... Didn't expect that response. <laughs> ah, okay. What do you wish of me? Uh, can I ask her You're about that town, again? So, tis as good a time as any. Uh, I am here. Why? Do you wish me to leave? No, I, I don't do want so. you to leave. Then I assume our discussion ends here. Yeah. Did... I was about to say, did that mean again? We got, we got negative 10 again? Is that what you're telling me? I was trying to set it right and it got me another one? Oh, come on. Can I not win with this woman? I guess not. Alright, uh, okay. Let's talk to Zeverin again, I guess. Uh, can you teach others to be an assassin? I'm still thinking about it. I don't yet want the crows to actively hunt me, you see. Uh, maybe enough. later. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. uh, care to answer some questions? All right, but I get to stare at you luridly while you do so. All right. Uh, do you actually enjoy being an assassin? And why not? There are many things to enjoy about being a crow in Antiba. You're respected, you're feared, the authorities go out of their way to overlook your trespasses, even the rewards are nothing to turn your nose up at. As for the killing part, well, some people simply need assassinating. Or do you disagree? You've never killed an innocent? Now there's an interesting word, innocent. How many men do you know who can claim to be truly innocent? But hmm. if you're talking generalities, such as children and relatives and bystanders and such, never on purpose, but it happens. It's unfortunate, but death comes to us all. If not me, then some wasting disease, or a fall down the stairs, or at the hands of a darkspawn. It's all relative in the end. That sounds like an excuse. Death happens, as we like to say. And when I get paid for it, death happens more often. As far as enjoying the act of killing itself, why not? There is a certain artistry to the deed. The pleasure of sinking your blade into their flesh and knowing that their life is in your hands. I... Hmm. I take no pleasure in killing. It is not pleasure, per se. Nothing sexual. I would hope it's not. It's a sense of satisfaction. A feeling of power. Does that make sense? No matter. Yeah. There are many things I did not enjoy about being a crow, of course. Having no choice, being treated as an expendable commodity, the rules. Oh, so many rules. But simply being an assassin, I like it just fine. I will continue to do it if I can, even if I am not a crow. Honestly, could you picture me doing something else? Don't you have any other skills? None that I wouldn't get into trouble for performing publicly. Of oh. course, all these thoughts are moot. Chances are still good that you and I will perish, eaten by darkspawn or slain by the crows at some point. Very gruesomely, I imagine. But it is pleasant enough okay. to chat about. Come, let's move on while our boots still have some wear in them. Well, I didn't intend on that, but I guess it happens. You're just, you're just so excited. You're just so excited. Gotta calm down. Silly little dog. There we go. Welp, I think 
I've gotten all I really can out of this interaction. It sucks that that's all I can do because I was hoping to offload more gifts. But I don't think I know enough about them to figure who will take what. I honestly don't know. Silver medallion. Hmm. Just flask of red wine. Hey, uh, maybe I'll try uh, Sten with this. Unexpected. Thank you. I was right. It would have worked. Cool. Small silver ring. The single gemstone, huh? Hmm. Painted skyball. Um. Let's try a this. Fine gift. You have my thanks. I had a feeling, but I didn't want to bet on it. Uh, eventually, I'll figure these out, or I'll look it up, and we'll do it that way. Either or, I will do it. Okay. Well, I think I'm done with the camp for now. Um, let's bring Liliana with us. And... Let's go with Alistair. Yeah. And, of course, we're going to have to bring Morrigan. Just to make it an all-rounded sort of thing. Other than that, yeah, I think we're good. Okay, well. Let me... Let me leave, then. Jesus. It's not letting me leave. Okay. That's weird. This is... This is weird. I figured it would let me leave. Um Oh blast it. Yes. Um I don't know what to think of this. Okay. Um yeah. Yeah. I've already got the party. Just let me let me go. Come on. Oh, what did I break? What did I break? Oh my God! All right. Okay. I don't know what. To do. <laughs> I don't know what I broke. Huh. I think... What do you wish of me? Uh... Never mind. Okay. That... Why? Why is it not letting me do the oh, thing? Damnation. Oh, blast it. Could I just... Yes. It won't let me get... <laughs> Why? What in the hell? Is it because I had to go through here? Is that why? Oh, that's dumb. Oh, that's dumb. Okay. Um... Indeed. There we go. Okay. 
And now we do this, I guess? Maybe? Alright, um... Where, what? <laughs> Han Leith, I've already been there. Uh, Red Cliff Village, I guess we'll go there. Okay. In Denerim, okay. Sire, I have more news. Um, yes. Well, it seems that the fighting has gone Enough. exactly as you... I would like to know what you intend to accomplish, Father. Should we not be fighting the Darkspawn instead of each other? The nobility should be brought into line and then the Darkspawn defeated. This is no true blight, Honora. Only Kalen's vanity demanded it be so. Beg pardon, sir. But blight or no, we may not have the manpower to face the Darkspawn soon. Kalen approached your legions for support, did he Never! not? Never! Marek and I drove those bastards out! Not roll out the welcome for them now. We need help, Father. We cannot deal with this crisis alone. Ferelden will stand on its own. I will lead it through this, Anora. You must have faith in me. Did you kill Kalen? Oh. Kalen's death was his own doing. Well, daughter's already on to things. Well, that little meanwhile in in Denerim bullshit kind of gave us a little bit of insight. Also, I'm a little amazed that um, I ran into that problem. I didn't think I would <laughs> earlier with the whole shenanigans. Um, it's one of the sustained abilities I'm supposed to have on. It wasn't dual striking, it was momentum. Yes, there we go. Okay. Yes, my friend. And then actually I shouldn't be bothering with this. Probably don't need it. Hmm. Don't have the lyrium potions to give to him yet, so we'll just skip that for now. We'll do some of the other things down here. I have no idea what that is. Oh, that's a fish. <laughs> that's just a fish. It's a weird looking fish, but a fish nonetheless. Okay. So... A regular's box. There's no quests at this time. Okay. Um, Chanter's board. There are no available quests. Uh, I don't remember. Is that fire supposed to just be sitting there? I have a feeling it's not so. It's not supposed to be, but I couldn't tell you why. Alright, um, oh. Interesting. You just collective bags. Okay. What do you wish of me? I didn't actually mean to talk to you, sorry. A little something extra for friendship. Oh! Because I completed the quest. Okay, cool. Thank you. I forget which one I completed. <laughs> I honestly forget which one I completed. Uh, shit. Which one was it? Uh, Mage's Collective. Which one did I just complete? Probably the Ten Bundles of Deep Mushrooms. That's probably what I did. Um, oh, and them. Yeah, I did that too. That's right, I remember now. Um, places of power. I'll need to go back to the Brazilian forest for that. 
Probably, yeah. Okay, there was that. Don't have anything to return to ye either of you, the I don't think. dark before dawn's first light seems at hand. But know that the sun always rises. Okay. Sounds good to me. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's go into the Brazilian forest there. If it would let me do the thing. There we go. Much better. Huh. <sighs> Had a feeling that would happen. Oh. Who are you? Old Tegrin? Do you have coins, stranger? With Orzammar closed off, Old Tegrin can give you a discount. Fine weapon and arms. Dwarven made. What's going on in Orzammar? There's two things I'm here for. Travel or trade. Understand? Okay, let's see this discount of yours. Not a lot of good stuff going on here. It's not particularly good. Although, crossbow. Pretty cool. Huh. Ain't too bad. Let's look at the armor. Ceremonial armored boots. Red steel. Hmm. Fair enough. Apprentice's amulet. Okay, that's not too bad. Temperament. Not too bad. Ornate leather belt. Would be nice. Mm -hmm. Greater injury kit. What would that be? Instantly regains a small amount of health and is cured of all injuries. So, instead of up to three injuries. Okay, well. I could use far more of those, since I will definitely need one of those. Oh. This one's restricted just to me. A sprawling work of early Ferelden that attempts to unify many disciplines under one theory of mental capacity. Long censored by the Chantry, the book grants a greater capacity for general skills. Huh. Interesting. Um, silver Sword of Mercy. Ornate silver amulet in the shape of a sword. Blue satin shoes. Hmm. Shouldn't buy more gifts, especially if I don't know what I'm going to be using them for. Uh. Do need more of those. For the giving away bit, not really for using. Um. I kind of do want this. I think I'm going to take it. But anything else, I don't know. Hmm. 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 Yeah, nothing else really interested me other than all of that. So I guess we'll call that good. Uh, there's nothing else to be had here. So there we go. Perfect. Dish. Okay. We'll walk our way through here. I don't think there should be any more opponents I have to fight in here. I don't think. But I could be wrong. Um, the Grand Oak Clearing, huh? 
Well, I could head that way. See what there is to see? Um... I don't remember these guys being here. At all. I'm going to save real quick and uh, make sure I can handle this. Be right back. Yes. All right. And with the save done, I'm now going to get everyone uh, set up with their abilities, uh, including flaming weapons there. Yeah, that should be fine. Right. And get him set up with On it. threaten um, precise striking or shield defense. Yes. Let's go with shield defense. Yeah, let's go with that. Um, I forget what most of his abilities are for. <laughs> Honestly. Uh shit. Shield defense was for, uh... Yeah. Bonus to defense and an increased chance to shrug off missile attacks, but taking a penalty to attack. Which she kind of circumvents for... with, uh, precise striking. Which I could make him do now. There we go. And with that, we'll talk you, to them. You were the Grey Warden who broke the curse. Yeah. I demand to know what happened to the werewolves. Where did they go? I mean, there are no longer werewolves. The curse was broken. That makes no difference. Those, those monsters killed my husband. They killed so many of my people. They have Dalish blood on their hands. If they are human once more, that shall make it all the easier to take vengeance for their crimes. Tell me where they are. Zathrian wanted vengeance too. Look what it did to him. His vengeance was just. If I cannot have their blood, then I will have yours. In the name of the god of vengeance, Elgarhan, I demand justice. I see enemies ahead. Well, okay. That's unfortunate that you've decided that that is necessary. <laughs> Okay, well, that is rather unfortunate. Well, I have no idea why this guy's dead here, still, but, um, okay. Okay, well, um, this was all very unfortunate. Huh. Hmm. Well, not much I can do about that. <sighs> not much at all, unfortunately. Eesh. Dalish Longbow Whitewood. Um, let me compare to what uh, Liliana's running. Has rapid aim. That wouldn't be all that terrible. Uh, let me check her other weapon. Her other weapon is just a longbow. So I guess I can switch that out. Because this isn't going to be any significantly better. Actually, if anything, I'd say that the other one is far better. Elf Flight Arrow. Okay. Um, hmm. Hmm. Okay. I guess that's good enough. Well, I wasn't 
Wasn't expecting that. Was kind of hoping that we could have avoided that, but it is what it is. Greetings to thee once again. Thou hast not yet left the forest, then? Well, I've been in and out. Huh. I guess there's really nothing else going on in the forest. At least other than that little combat bit. Alright, and let's see if we can look at that. No, that's not what I want. Or is it? Uh, actually, it might be. It might be where I wanted to go after all. Yes, let's go. And I guess we'll go after that, uh, Revenant? Near the... Near the ruined area? I guess that's something we can do. Maybe that's the whole places of power thing. Yeah, ancient tombstone right there. Oh, it's over that direction. Well. Wow. Wait. Oh, there was another ancient tombstone over that way. So I was going the right direction. God damn it. Alright, so we go... This way. And around. Okay. So we're here now. I'm going to check on my health and everything else in just a little bit. And then save again. Because I say, why not? Okay, just a moment. Okay, here we are, and let's try this once more. A naturally cold around the ancient tombstone. Let's disturb the wards. And let's do this fight again. There we go. Okay, oh boy. Uh-oh. Well, Morgan's dead. That's not good. Okay, um... Maybe... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And... We didn't survive it. <laughs> <sighs> okay. I might keep trying this. Uh, but it will be next episode where I keep trying it. And maybe eventually I'll be able to succeed. Probably not, but it's worth a shot, right? Because I think that's the whole places of power thing that I need to do. I just don't want to wait until... You know, I'm of the level to do it. <laughs> I'd rather try and get it done now. But probably not going to be able to. Because I suck. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat. Playing games and trying to <laughs> level up Alistair a little bit, I guess while also getting some missions done in this general area uh, before we move on to Denerim to do that stuff. Unfortunately, it seems a lot of the missions that we're going to have to try and do here uh, are a little outside of my wheelhouse and my ability to do them. So uh, it's going to be beating my head against the wall. But then again, that's how it usually goes with this game, it feels like. So here's hoping we can do it. For you.